guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's For Dinner. Now, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that I have been diligently working on using what's in my pantry and what's in my freezer, because as you can see, we are expecting a baby. And so I am trying to clear out space in our cabinets for the baby stuff, bottles, etc. And so everything that we are having tonight came from our pantry or our freezer. So we're having some ribs tonight. And then we are also having a side dish called stick of butter rice. So let me show you the ingredients that you are going to need. It is a really simple recipe and I have my oven preheating to 350 and there's a little alarm right on cue. So you are going to need a 10 ounce can of French onion soup. I happen to like Campbell's. And then you're going to need a 10 ounce can of beef broth, again, Campbell's. You're going to need a stick of butter. This is unsalted butter that I cut up. And then I also have one cup of jasmine rice. So the first thing that you're gonna do is put your rice into, this is an eight by, I think this is an eight by eight or nine by nine pan. So I'm just gonna dump my rice in. And then all you're gonna do is add in your French onion soup. And your beef broth. Now this is a recipe that, um, this does bake for about an hour in the oven. So this is something that you really need to plan for. Um, so it's not something you can make at the last minute right before everything else gets done. So I've been combined those three ingredients in the pan and you're just gonna stir it a little bit just to make sure that your rice is evenly distributed. And now I'm just going to add on the pats of butter. I'm just gonna add it. This is a rich recipe. It's really good. It has a nice flavor to it. And it's super easy and quick to make, as you can see. And I guess you could cut down on the butter if you don't wanna use the whole stick, but I just use the entire stick. So there it is, that's all the prep that's required. So I'm gonna cover this tightly with foil and I'm gonna bake it on 350 for 30 minutes. I'm gonna check it, make sure that it looks like the water is absorbing, the, well the broth I should say is absorbing, and then I'm gonna take the foil off and cook it for another 30 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here are our, well here is Howard's plate. Of course I'm having the same thing. And this is the stick of butter rice. And um, let me show it to you in the pan. So there it is, stick of butter rice. And if you want your rice a little bit firmer, oops, sorry about that. If you want your rice a little bit firmer, you can add a smidge more rice, like less than a third of a cup of rice. But this is pretty firm for me, um, but here it is. So you can see all those onions in there. And then um, with the ribs, which are right here, um, and I season them kind of Asian style. So I have ginger and some Asian seasonings in there. And then I just made some stir fried green beans. Um, they were frozen and I just um, stir fried them, added some seasonings. So anyway, here is the plate with the stick of butter rice. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. I stopped by this Chinese restaurant that we have never eaten at and decided to get some carry out. So I'll start over here. I am, let's see, this is Howard's hot and sour soup. And this is my egg drop soup. Now normally I get hot and sour soup too, but I decided since we're trying a new place, um, you know, I wanna try out both soups. So there's the soups. And then I got um, General Tso's chicken which is not something that I order very often. I'm more of a stir fry person. I normally get Mongolian beef or something like that, but I just wanted some of this. So I have Mongolian chicken with, um, I'm sorry, not Mongolian chicken, General Tso's chicken. 
with just plain fried rice, no peas or carrots. You guys know how I hate that. On the other hand, Howard got Singapore fried rice, combination fried rice. And I asked what the difference was in just the regular fried rice in Singapore. They said it has um, curry powder. So, and it also has, as you can see, a ton of peas and carrots. You guys know I hate peas and carrots. I thought I was going to gag in the car on my way home. The smell of peas is so strong. I can barely stand here and film it. And then I had a craving for some chicken lo mein. And again, this is not something I normally order, but I just had a taste for it and I hope it's good. I'm not sure. And then I just got one beef egg roll. So anyway, we have a little buffet of Chinese food to try out tonight and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some Mississippi pork roast. Um, so I made this probably about a month or so ago and froze half of it. As you know, I am on a mission to try to eat stuff that's in my freezer and pantry. So here is the pork roast and we are serving it over jasmine rice. And we are using this ready rice because um, I'm lazy and didn't feel like making rice. So Howard popped this in the microwave for us. And then he sauteed some frozen green beans with garlic and seasonings. And this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Leftovers. See you guys next time. Hey guys. So for dinner tonight, we are trying Little Caesars limited time quattro pizza. And so this is a large pizza that is um, in four different sections. You get two slices of uh, pizza in each of the little sections. So let me tell you uh, what the slices are. So we have pepperoni right here, and then we have cheese right here. We have pepperoni sausage right here and then we have bruschetta right here. Now bruschetta, I'm used to their, you know, like the traditional bruschetta on bread, of course there's no meat, um, but as you can see, there is sausage on this one, and it comes with the cubed tomatoes, and I think there's supposed to be a drizzle of balsamic vinaigrette, but I don't see that. Um, and then, you know, how much we love their um, crazy bread, so here is the crazy bread, and I got the crazy sauce. So our crazy sauce doesn't come with the crazy bread, you have to pay for it separately. So the sauce was 69 cents, the crazy bread, cents I should say, crazy bread was $4, and then the quattro pizza was seven bucks. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having breakfast for dinner tonight. It is, um, one of the things that I love to make when I don't feel like cooking, so let me show you what we're having. We are just having some scrambled eggs. I like my eggs scrambled really hard, and I added a bunch of cheese, which is why the eggs look like that. There's a ton of cheddar in there. And then we are also having some Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage links, which are right here. These were in my freezer, and I think this is the last of the turkey sausages. As you know, I am trying to really use up stuff that I have in my freezer and in my pantry in preparation for the baby to make space for the baby and everything that the baby will need. And then um, from my pantry, um, I used up a box of Betty Crocker wild blueberry muffins. Let me show you the box right here. And this box makes 12 regular sized muffins. But since it's just the two of us, whenever I make muffins, I always make them in the jumbo muffin tins. So here they are right here. To me, just having six muffins seems a lot less intimidating than having to eat 12 muffins. I mean, I know we're eating the same amount, but it's just more manageable just having six muffins. So here they are. I just bake them in a jumbo muffin tin. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Oh, let me show you what I put on the eggs. I told you I added cheese, I added salt and pepper, and then I also just used this onion salt from Trader Joe's. So anyway, this is what's for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.